Hi everyone, it's Eva Pietrzak here from Abundant Results Coaching and today I'd love to share a few concepts about responsibility. Responsibility is the key to freedom. When we blame other people or circumstances for the way our results are, the way our life is, we actually are in the position of helplessness. We actually don't have anything to say and we give away the power to someone else or to something else to govern our, govern our life. Now I know lots of us have tendency to look for the blame in others or in circumstances. Well, maybe my boss didn't do, it doesn't do good enough work and that's why I'm not performing as well as I would like to. Maybe the economy is this or maybe the my team is not working like that and that's why I'm not getting enough sales or enough leads. We have tendency to blame our external environment and external circumstances for our results. But the truth is we are in charge of our results. We can become in charge of our results. And in fact, now, if you're in that situation of blaming others or circumstances for the way you are or where you are with your results, don't worry because this is pretty much how majority of people operate, but we just need to have a breakthrough in responsibility if we want to be powerful, successful, driven goal achievers. So what is responsibility? Responsibility means that I am responsible for my thoughts, feelings, actions, and results. And I'm also responsible for figuring out how to change my reality. So one of the things that I've learned from Bob Proctor over the years is there's part of our mind that is creating every single result that you guys have. We may think that, oh, you know, like this is what my boss is, you know, he's a bully and that's why I am uh, getting the results that I get in my, uh, in my work. Maybe there's not enough prospects out there. Maybe the economy is bad. People don't have the money. So that's why I'm not getting enough sales. We can be putting blame everywhere outside, but that puts us in the position of not being able to make a difference. Now, when you really understand what is responsible for your results, you will have a breakthrough. So I've, I've printed off a little stick person. Now, I don't know if you guys can see it. I think you do. So I'm just going to go through the stick. This is the picture of the mind and it caused a total breakthrough in my life and my responsibility for my results. Because see, for a long period of time, when I was petrified of speaking in front of people, I would be blaming my past and I would be blaming my family members and all sorts of things in the universe that were not in alignment with what I wanted. But the truth is that I was responsibility. It was my thinking that was causing me to be afraid in front of uh, people. And then as I opened the business, I, you know, I have the same principle when it comes to if my sales are up and down, if the money is not flowing, the way I want it to be, I always look inside. What, where am I responsible for this result? What do I need to change? So here's a little picture that caused a breakthrough for me. Now, this is a picture of the mind. Some of you are very well aware of this, but I'm going to explain it one more time. In 1934, there was a gentleman called Thurman Fleet, who was a doctor in Texas, US. And he said that the mind is responsible for all the results we have and all the symptoms. Like, you know, he actually was annoyed with medicine because he said we're only only healing symptoms we're not healing the mind so he actually said I'm gonna create a picture of the mind now I'm not gonna to go too much into the story but he created a stick man or a stick person and he subdivided the mind into conscious and subconscious mind now here's the, the true power around responsibility for your results, guys. The conscious mind is only producing two to 4% of your results. So what does that mean? You know, maybe you have a business and you know you need to be selling every single day and you know you need to be doing follow-ups and you know you need to be training your team and you know you need to be doing X, Y, and Z. You go to some sort of trainings, you upgrade your skills, you know what to do. But knowing is actually, sorry, it's a bit awkward to hold this picture. Knowing is just going to produce two to 4% of your behaviors and your results. What is going to produce majority of your behavior as results is your subconscious mind. And this actually gives you 96 up to 98% 
of your results, your behaviors, your ideas, your opportunities, and your results. So if you're getting negative results in your life, maybe you're not getting enough money in your bank account. Maybe you're not getting the right you know, level of fitness. Maybe you're not attracting the right partners into your life. Maybe you're not, your sales is up and down, up and down. Trust me on this one. The source of this result is in your subconscious mind. It's not the economy. It's not the people. It's not the circumstances. It's the part of your mind that is causing 96 up to 98% of your results, the subconscious. So how does this uh, relate to our responsibility for our life? Well, number one, I would love to encourage you to make a decision today to become fully responsible for every single thing that happens to you in your life and learn about the power of your subconscious mind. Because when you learn about the mind, you really will understand that there is no external circumstances and there is no external person who can stop you from achieving your goal. You are the one who can learn about the subconscious mind and reprogram it so that it gives you the results that you truly want. So if you haven't gone into studying this material, then you can pop me a line, you can drop me a line and we can set up a consultation and you can learn from me and you can learn from Bob. Now, if you have learned it, then you already know that it's your responsibility to work on your paradigms, to work on your subconscious mind and never blame the circumstance or the people outside of you. Because I promise you, let me just give you an example, a couple of examples. Why are other people not responsible for our results. Other people may be behaving this way and that way. You may have a boss who is a bully and maybe they are triggering you. But the thing is, on a conscious mind level, we have ability to accept or reject information. So we we can learn not to react to other people. The only way how people can stop us from accomplishing our goals is when we internalize and emotionalize what they say or do. That's when we actually impact low vibration. We impact our attitude and our results go down. But other than that, if it's not that person, it's gonna be that person, there's always a way. When it comes to circumstances, there's a lovely quote about successful people do not allow circumstances to, to be blamed for their results. If they cannot see the circumstances that are favorable for their results, they look for the circumstances or they make them. So when your sales is up and down, you have a business or some results are up and down, there's probably another strategy that you need to learn, but you've got to take responsibility for your results. When you really understand that there's only you and you your mind that is creating and attracting all the results you're, you have in your life, you have the power to impact your results. But before that, you're powerless. And so I wanted to share this concept with you guys because it gave me huge level of freedom in my business and personal results. So I hope that gave you some food for thought and you have an amazing week. Take care.